Flash Revive show where you come to buy Five the time. We are watching My Hero Academia episode 134. Lady Nagant. If that's how you say that, hopefully. Yeah, All Might is a new Alfred of uh, My Hero Academia. Yes. He, uh, he got a grenade to his window. Um, his The left side of his face might be blown off. We don't know. And uh, Midoriya is on his way to go head to head with Lady Nagant. And he's uh, on his own. He yeah, got no he help. Got no help. Yeah, he's exactly. refusing all, all sources of help, so. Mm -hmm. And we still haven't seen, like, what, what's up with, like, Bakugo, or, like, how he's gonna react now that, you know, Deku just left and he didn't say yeah, nothing. that's in the past. I feel like, so I feel like they it. didn't uh, want to bring that up to surface because they, we already know how Bakugo would feel. And I feel like, at the same time, it's kind of like, he's not even in school now, so anything that even is going on is, those guys are gonna keep it away from them. So, even if Bakugo wants to go out, he still has his conscience on school. Yeah, he's trying to sell. I understand. I'm just saying, Baku is gonna be like, once he does see Deku, he's gonna be like, yo, no, how's it? It's not gonna be a fair fight. Deku's gonna be so far advanced and That's beyond De 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 Baku go, it's kind of it's gonna be child's play. Then we're like, Baku yeah, go, knock it off. And then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's gonna go, come on, Midori, let's go. And then Deku's just gonna. And then Baku's just gonna. That's what I'm saying. I'm excited. Bro, just, I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm not. I'm because not. it's like. Like, to see Bakugo, like, what if Deku like, starts bullying Bakugo? He's not! He's not! He's not. No, he's not! He's not! He's never gonna do that. This is Deku we're talking about. I think Deku hasn't got to, like, his mental breaking point fully. I think right now he's like... He did. When everyone got killed, almost. <laughs> That's when his no. mental broke and he said, I'm gonna destroy I don't him. think it... I don't think he's, like, at that point yet. Cause, like, I mean, Loki... He did snap the neck. Yeah. He had a chance, and he could have saved the world from all this. Yeah. I mean, even post all the epicness, I don't feel like he's, like, dealt with all the trauma and stuff like that yet. I feel like he's kind of avoiding it. Because, like, mentally, like, he's just, like, kind of doing his own thing. He hasn't talked to anyone. He hasn't done anything. He literally just left the hospital and was like, all right, I'm out. Well, yeah. He has to take care of the biggest threat. Of At least he's entire, in communication. In the whole entire world. He's got to yeah. keep a level head. Yeah. But he's going to have a break. I, my bet is he's going to have a breaking point, And then he's like, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think uh, All Might's going to let that happen. Nor any of the other uh, successors before him in this head are going to let him do that. So, yeah. as much as you're trying to look for something in the story to be like that, I, want it to I don't be think it's going to happen. Yeah, so I mean, it would be now. cool. I guess it would be kind of cool for, like, to put and add on to more of the story and the, uh, into all this, but I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. I think they, they're writing too good of a story right now and keeping it how uh, everything's falling apart. But now they got built up. But I don't think throwing the thing all apart and then having all the other characters fall more deeper than what they are now is gonna actually like make it deeper. Unless you want to look for a berserker, you want to look for a Vinland Saga. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, if that's your thing, I mean. We... Yeah. All right. So, we don't. We don't know. know. As no holes bar back. You're, you're right. There is none. But I feel know. like for character building. You're character gonna, building, you have to show the reactions of like, them mentally, like. He, he, and then I feel like they already done. Okay, we gotta get in this episode. We can't keep talking. Yes, like, we yes, talking to us. Us. Please. Play. I want to press play. Signature I want to press play. No, you're not professional enough to do this yet. Disappointing. Next time. Next time. Oh, the car, I'm gonna be the gunner. They're up for blood. Assassins. They're after young Midori. Hey, people be holding their phone in the ear now. <laughs> well, it's in the spur of the moment. He's literally getting attacked. He's like grabbing it with his forearm like this. Like, I'm being attacked. And just jumping out of the car. Is that all much? Don't back down. Doesn't change Damn, people are still scared of All Might. Of course. No hero, I swear to protect your son, even if it costs me my life. Hey. Hey. Alfred. Far <laughs> Damn. Damn. The unthinkable ever happens to that. The leather jacket's really pulling it off. <laughs> yeah. Over my dead body. And he keeps saying that, and it's making me nervous. I'm like, hey, he do it. Like I said, so. Do I have to get both? Or get a black with a jacket. Yeah. Same right. difference. <laughs> Did anybody ever talk about Deku's setup? His fit is fucking on point. It like works. literally, he's distinctly, distinctly putting himself out there to look like a vigilante. Oh, the new outfit. Yes. Yeah, the new outfit's crazy. Damn. I thought it was. A, I mean, I like the reinforcements. The reinforcements do anime touch instead of like pajamas. As long as she's not quick, yeah, yeah. I can stay one step ahead. I feel like everyone was wearing PJs, like when they first got their uniforms, and then 
Everyone's like, yo, I need actual hair. Exactly. And now Nick is like, I need actual style. <laughs> exactly. Damn. Oh! She shot two? Yeah, everything's tactical too on his outfit. Which is, which is cool. Full blast! I just needed to buy some time. Well, wait. You're joking. <laughs> Oh no, but this quirk bot. So that, that's something else. You have no experience using my quirk. Oh! Damn. I'll learn how to use your power on the fly. Oh no. Look, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> he said <a> parallel jump. <laughs> he just said what? Yo! Yo! Shake your quirk! My guy! He gets my guy! Wait! What is he doing? Let's go! He waited for her to like, reveal herself by shooting at him. So it was easy to send out decoys and track Nagant's movements based on the oh. timing of her shots. A sniper's skills are useless at close range. What? Not a chance! Damn! Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Why did you help? You used to be a hero! She used to be a hero? Yeah, it's a whole other difficulty level. Oh, oh, shit. I thought it went through his whole body. All to keep our citizens in the dark. Damn. Well, she was doing the dirty work for an angel society. Wait! We haven't done anything yet! This is just totally. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Can we get a number for you? Okay. <laughs> she might be my new miracle. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Don't shot everyone? Mm -hmm. Your duty is to follow orders. You were a strong leader. Damn! You murdered the previous head of the safety commission? What? Wait. Damn. I don't have any more. Somebody beg you. She's one of those abandoned heroes. She's just, just too real. She just wants like, to be honest, she's out there, she's all this underwater. She was like, kind of cool with like, what his job was, like, as long as it wasn't like, keeping her in like, secret. Wait, hold on. Sorry. But yeah, what you're saying makes sense. I have to keep reaching my hand out to help! I feel like this is an epic moment for Deku's character. Oh, snap! What the? What? Now I have you. Why do people do these weird tricks? Wait! Uh, is that our ultimate attack? Is oh, he gave her another. Yeah, he gave her another attack. Remember when All Might's arm got all super buff when he was fighting, uh, or not All Might, uh, All For One? Yeah. yeah. Kind of seemed like that same thing. They're not about to bring Cheesy Key around and make me care about him. Hurry up and get me to the Your conscience is destroyed. She knows. You must tell me down. That's when your mom. Oh, shit. Quirk. Fashin. One for all at 45%. Oh, my gosh. Plus, centrifugal force. <laughs> He's as fast as a bullet. Everyone my age has seen. All might. The symbol of peace. Fucking moving faster than a speeding bullet. Light speed? Yo! This is insane! Holy cow! No. He's even faster. He's literally been prepared for this the whole time. He's already shifting directions. He's just go. Oh, one just like this squad. Oh my god! Why? Chill. Oh my god. 
so she decided to back out. He put a damn. Hey, you shouldn't have broke up from your cup. I'm single now. I'm single. I'll, I'll take her off your hands, though. <laughs> What a pathetic life you've led, Jeez. dear Lady Nacant. Oh, she was so weak in the fucking opening. No one. Oh, she's alive. Hear me? Hawks, you're here. Deku. She's going to make it. All my son word of an assassin. Hold on, Hawks. Don't. I can't be sure, but I okay, I was like, please don't do a Spider-Man moment. <laughs> if you fight yeah. against that kid, take control of your own life. And you. Exactly. There was like not a lot of like good hearted. And this is deep out of nowhere. I didn't even know she was a character. I didn't even know she was a hero. She's dead, I think. She's one of the central characters, honestly. Maybe she's just gonna survive. Deku! Is he the only one? Maybe she doesn't die. Oh, I was talking to the woman. You remember Aerie, right? What yeah. you did to her? Mm-mm. Hey, chill, bro. Yes. <laughs> yes, let's bring it up. You're the girl. You want forgiveness from somebody? Apologize to Aerie, and in return I'll fulfill Nagant's promise. You have my word on that front. Mm. How does that sound to you? It's not a bad deal. Young yeah, man, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Midoriya's been roughed up pretty bad as well. Okay, Nico. You too, by the looks of it. Oh, shit. Uh, See? This is it. See? That's oh, what okay. I was talking about. I knew it. His eyes are turning blue. His, mentally, he hasn't fully... I knew it. And mentally, he hasn't fully... Well, no, the hell we got! Chizuki there was saying, hey, I need to say sorry to the old man. And then he already knows what happened to Reed. And he's just like, fuck all that noise. I'm telling you, man, I knew it was going to happen. Because, like, it's like when a parent dies, right? And then most people, they don't really know how to deal with it, so they kind of internalize it. And then after a certain amount of time, then they cry like like a week later or something like that. And I'm like, if you think about Deku's character, he's like a very emotional person. And he's been like emotional this entire show. And now it's at the point where like his face is like, like no, he's like lost all emotion. So it has to come out some way. Damn. And that was, was like, on the edge when I see the whole Jeez, like he is like, man, your father's the last person you gotta apologize to. Well, he also put it in there too. Right. He's like, you apologize to everyone. Yeah. But starting with that little girl, though, yeah. Right. He almost looked like he wanted to kill you. I thought he was going to want to try to kill I thought, him or something. I thought he was going to kill the guy. I was like, no. <laughs> well, you got to remember how that You'll whole... never get a chance to apologize to anybody. <laughs> Die with your sin! <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fuck, that was, that was a crazy episode. That was a crazy episode. I was, uh... It really looked like Deku was not on, into forgiving Chisuki because, you know, yeah. it's kids. You know, once you got kids involved, it's like, is forgiveness even on the table now? Right, right, yeah. Man, that was a crazy episode. I'm surprised they brought Nagat out of nowhere. But literally one episode, made her lit. They do, they do that very well. They, they put her in the, like an opening, and then she, I was like, she's a new main character. She's hella yeah. cool. She got a lot of mystery to her, and then... It's literally her... I think the presence, the, the character, how they made her, and how, mm -hmm. what she stood for. And also, like, I, I have to say the power. Guarantee the you the too. power that they gave her and the setup too. Yeah, and it's what made it. It's what made it really good and mm -hmm. what made the character likable and like, oh, I think we're saying mysterious. Yeah, it's a different side of the heroes. It's like the Superman, Batman. You know what I mean? You have all these super. You have all my. This like represents hope and you know the Superman side of things, and then you have Batman the fights in the night and all the dark side of like you know uh, DC and all that good stuff. Actually, I think she's super important also because. Uh, in the Vigilante series, I think she's like one of the main characters uh, in this. Yeah, she did talk about this. the Vigilantes. Ooh, Vigilantes, yeah. So I think there's a whole other series that like kind of covers, uh, you know, her and then all that stuff. So. Is she on the back? No, this is a different girl. Cheeks in the back. <laughs> Always got out of the cheek with those cheeks. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, man, great episode. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I like how they kind of kept the tone. I thought maybe it was going to start getting a lot more lighthearted, and it seems like it's not. <laughs> Definitely not. This out. Especially from a conversation we had in the beginning about Deku breaking. Yeah. I don't think he's breaking. I feel like he's just... How do you saw his face? I saw his face, but it's not breaking. It's having those moments that came back to him, those that rage moment, that kind of like, how dare you like 
even like say something like ridiculous like that when you know you mess somebody else's elf, else's life. You yeah. know what I mean? That's not yeah. tearing him down. I think it's, it's just, just one of the steps, He's though. feeling super sympathy for the person, but at the same time, it's more anger and like uh, the rage mm-hmm. of that side's coming out more than like anything else. Yeah, it's not. He's not really breaking down. Too much has happened for him to just be calm. Like the way, like even for sure, for when sure. he was in the hospital and he was talking to his mom. He was like, "Oh, it's cool," and he's like smiling. And I was like, "How are you this calm?" I was like, "I don't feel like I feel like more stuff's gonna happen." I feel like we have we don't know who died, and I feel like maybe people haven't died, and I feel like they're gonna die, and I feel like he's gonna break. <laughs> like that's it's that's, only been three days exactly since the thing, so we don't really know. Gran Torino is in fucking ICU. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like he's literally like yeah. there's no way. Yeah, bro, it's over. it's over. He's gonna get the call. Yeah. Like, hey, your grandpa died, and he's gonna be like, "Yep, everyone's dying." Now. <laughs> the thing is, like, can people can get more passionate and have more empathy for people Damn. that are like suffering and, and all. But like, at some point, that passion kind of like overtakes, like, you know, more rational decisions. And then that yeah. you could like have, you know, like I'm so passionate about getting revenge for Eerie and Nagant, but I'm gonna like, you know, I feel like killing you. At yeah. this moment, just because of just how passionate I am about like restoring and getting reparations for these people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's so many good storylines. Like, like as a writer, I'm looking at this and I'm like, there's so many good things. He could give Chisaki the opportunity to see Aria, and Chisaki could take advantage of it in her area, and then he's gonna be like, damn, I should have killed him, and then that's gonna push him over the You know, there's so many different storylines that they can do with that, and I'm like, fuck. Or, re- or she doesn't even want to see him. Yeah, it like messes up her head. Oh, yeah. who knows? Or he ever tells Deku, I don't want, I want him dead. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, she's just like, I want, I want you to kill him. And Deku's like, I bet. I mean, uh, Deku wants to kill him. If Deku does, because like, said, though, Loki, Deku's supposed to be in this vigilante phase. De- vigilante is different than actually being a killer or murderer. And that's the thing, he's he not even in vigilante phase. Or, no. He is. He is. He's, he's not because right now he's not doing anything dark. He hasn't done anything. He's bad. going behind. Vigilante is like a punisher. But that's not vigilante. That's the, the, and their thing, it's no, not no. Being There's no like vigilante. one definition. Vigilante means you go against the, the the governing system to do your own thing. Like Captain America, when he left, that's really what he's just doing right now. He's not doing anything against the system. He just he's on his own right now. He's just he's like Ronin. You know, he's solo, but he's not vigilante right now. I think he hasn't got the vigilante stage. And you know, we don't know, but I mean, he's literally not doing anything bad at this point. Exactly. I need him to kill vigilante. someone. I need him to break someone's neck. What if he did it in secret? He is. No, if he kills somebody, he's not going to kill anybody. If he kills anyone, it's going to be public display and people. If he's going to kill anybody, it would be all for one. That would be the literally only person I could see him kill. Hey man, you're just stuck in a box. You're stuck I'm not in stuck in a box. I'm just going off of the character that he is, and that's Deku. I hope it kills somebody. No. <laughs> I want death. <laughs> I want blood. Okay. I mean, then, then go watch Hawks kill somebody else again. <laughs> like, go, go watch Inferno like burn somebody too. Chris. What if like Nagat cool. comes back and just gives that final blow? I'd be I'd be happy he with that. He gives too. a final blow and then he kill and he gets killed in the process. Mm. Wait, who gives a final oh, blow? Hawks. No. Yeah, see? What if now Deku you will that? De- like I said, I just Deku's character. Is hey man. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of things that we have a lot to say in this uh for this episode. This it stirred wow. up a lot of thoughts. Yeah. Unpacked is probably more a little He's bit a later, vigilante, so. and I'm sticking to it. He's not. If you guys think yet. anything other than that, <laughs> you're on the wrong side of the fence there, guys. Right, so right. Saying. Yeah. He's yeah. a kid. He's a vigilante. He's Yo, a post kid. in the comments your thoughts on all these topics. There's a lot of things that we just talked about. So post in the comments. Let us know what you guys think as far as uh, Deku. Hey, no spoilers either, because I know you guys are further ahead. We're a little bit behind. So, uh, But yeah, until next time, I'm going to wrap this up. Go get some ramen. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Oh, man. Ready? Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. After that, let's go and break. One, two, three. No, I'll break on three. One, two, three. Break! Woo! Much love.